Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make some very useful logic gates. So logic gates take any number of inputs, doesn't really matter, and depending on what these inputs are, they give you an output. So here's, this one's not a logic gate actually, it's an RS nor latch, but uh, it's also called a memory cell. So you can press the button, it'll, it'll remember what you what you press until you reset it. So this is uh, my little sensor thing down here. When the condition is true, uh, it will extend. So I press. Oh god, this set my controls first. Ah, fix it. That's fine. Oh, wrong one, sorry. Okay, so I I'm pressing one and I'm not pressing one. So the circle is still up. It has successfully stored that information. Now I can press two and it resets it. Uh next up and gate. Go like this. The reason I use the arrow keys is so they stay all the shapes stay on the same horizontal axis. Okay. Make that A, make that Z. Now S and X. Make sure those aren't fixated. And when this touches something and on. Okay, now next step is to make them floppy and add two little thrusters so they automatically retract. Just the small ones. That's all you need. What have I done? Ah, okay. A S Nothing happens. But when I press A and S Nothing happens. Because I didn't set my triggers properly. So A and S Extend. Now you let go of one of them And they stop touching. Now, these are extra big versions of these gates, just because it's easier to see, but you can make them very small, it makes them more responsive, and something else you should do is make your restitution as low as possible. That just makes everything more reliable, especially when you get very small. Now, um, X, X or... I think that's what it's called. So if you have two levers in the level and both of them control, say, one door, uh, you need you need this gate to make sure that each time you flip either lever, the door will uh, well alternate between open and closed. By the way, you can use whatever shape you want. I'm just I just choose to use these. I use my watches because I don't feel like using it. This should be automatic. I don't need to be hard. I'll just use this. So, uh, no problem. Do you do that? Zero. No, there it is. Then I set it. I'll just set it. I'll just set it. Okay. That's interesting. First time, zero. I'll just set it. I'll just set it. So now, when you toggle one of them, uh, each time it goes off, just like pressing buttons normally. And just alternating between, well, up and down. 
but both of them work if I can remember the controls. See? So that's all. Uh, something you should be aware of. Just don't don't make things too strong, otherwise they just around and make your devices unreliable. So now that's working pretty well. There's your XOR gate. Okay, one more thing, uh, the NOR gate. So when you press a button, it's like stopping, press it's like you're pressing a button already, but you have stopped. Okay, I'm going to make M. Well, actually you don't need that button at all. I always use Q for controls you don't use. This one is really simple, just the thruster to make it extend automatically. <laughs> okay. Um I'll just move that down. So it's on automatically. Press M, it turns off. So that's the last logic gate for now, and thanks for watching.